Hi everyone, this is Akshay, your product expert at Learnis. So today we will be uh, continuing our uh, website builder uh, series. So earlier in the pe previous episode, we have understood the templates, the tools which are available, the widget blocks, the widgets which are available to use in the website builder. So today we will be exploring one of the newest feature which has been recently launched by Learnist, which is known as the theming functionality. Now what is theming functionality? So basically it will help you to align all the fonts which is being used in a particular uh, website template to align with a particular uh, same font which has been used. It can also align with the colors and it can be also around uh, align with the buttons which has been used in a particular shapes and sizes. So let's get started and we'll uh, check how it, the functionality works so first of all I'm in in my own website builder I'll select one of the page with, to be used so for example if I'm just I'll select one of the uh, random uh, website builder to be used so for let's get uh, started with this one learning path landing page so I can see there are multiple uh, pages which is available right now so I'll just use this template to be use the theming feature I'll just create this I'll just go to the edit page option. So, uh, for example, what what happened is that you you are working in a particular template and you have also added some sections with the different fonts and you want to align them with all the font with a particular only one font or a two different font to be aligned the whole website uh, template. It can be used with the help of the theming feature. We can align that. So, what I mean to say here, I'll just uh, tell you that. So this is the theming feature which is available right now. You can see this is the theming button which can be used. Now, for example, if I want to know which uh, font the particular the template it is, so I'll select this uh, particular statement and I can see in the font setting, this is basically uh, Ubuntu and the, the this part is known as the uh, basically a heading part. And if I select this one, I can see this is belong to the paragraph and this is basically a Roboto. Now what happened? Uh, the whole uh, website when you are using it and you want to change the whole template uh, uh, to a particular font you have to manually select this change into a different uh, uh, font so in order to uh, save your time what we have come up we have come up with the theming feature so for example if i just want to change the whole paragraphs and the heading headings which they belong to a particular uh, a font style a different font style the whole templates will be changed to uh, the particular uh, font which you have selected so for example uh, this is this belong to a Ubuntu and the paragraph belong to a Roboto font style So I'll just select this theming option I'll select the topography and I want the headings and the paragraph font to be changed into a particular different uh, style itself uh, Like for example, I want all the things to be changed into a red hat display and the paragraphs to be changed into the spectral I'll change this now we have seen that this is has been changed now if i select this if i just go to the font settings this belong to the heading one it has been changed whole uh, website headings has been changed and you can see the templates like this the paragraphs uh, if i just uh, enlarge this so this is the basically uh, the uh, paragraph font and this is the heading font which has been changed and you can also see all the font has been changed to a particular font which you have selected so this is the functionality of the theming so whenever you are working on a particular template of a website builder you can change the whole website to a particular theme and we have also introduced certain our uh, designer has also introduced certain types of font which are generally used and which looks good so if i select this one monstrat and to lora all the things basically the headings and the the paragraphs will be changed into particular uh, different fonts so if i just select this and select the font setting i can see it is all monstrat if i just go here i can see this is also monstrat so the all the headings the categories has been changed into the monstrat and the paragraph settings has been changed into lora and i can also see this one has been changed into the lora as well so this is the use of the the theming functionality so in terms of the topography so whenever you are using uh, different different uh, uh, i think the fonts you can align them with a particular font which is the help of the theming uh, functionality now we'll see explore more about the theming functionality next comes the color options as well and we have the buttons as well so in order to understand the button functionality so we have to change certain buttons so that they can understand which button you are currently working on that so for for example 
I want to select this one edit button option so how you can change the button settings earlier in the sessions we have also explained that so we will click on this button we can see edit button here we'll click on here and we can see the button template so we have segregated buttons on the basis of the category so these two are known as the primary one this is known as the secondary this is known as the success and this is is basically warnings and this is known as the errors so whenever you are using any error button like this warning buttons like this this can be also changed into a particular category right now in this theming functionality we have considered only the two part that is the primary one and the secondary one so if i'm using these button of the primary one in the all the website if i'm using a theming option i can change the whole colors of the buttons and the style to a particular one so let's get started we'll see so this medical pg which is written here i'll choose this one as a primary one this one as a uh, the secondary this again with a primary this to a secondary now this is all changed i'll go down again i'll see other buttons like this one if i go edit button i'll choose this as a primary i'll see this another buttons anywhere no so it's done here so why i've added here some buttons to be available if i want to add more button i have uh, the option to add some buttons as well so that is also available right now to understand more uh, we'll select uh, go directly go to the theming uh, options so i'll just click here this one go to the change color now the primary one is set to be red and the secondary one is set to be uh, blue so i'll just change into green one first this one and secondary to be used as a yellow one now i'll just have selected as my primary to the green and yellow to be available here and this one again to be green i'll save this now you can see all the primary one type of category of buttons has been changed into green and secondary button type has been changed into yellow and this should be also be changed into green as if this was selected as the secondary one now if i choose into the secondary one this one this will be changed into secondary one and if i change the secondary color here so for example i change the secondary color to be available as a red it will be changed into red i'll just save it here i can see this one also change into the red, red part so this is the you know uh, functionality of the the uh, the theming functionality now next we have the buttons available so as you know that uh, the uh, we are taking this theming option the primary one category and the secondary uh, one category so whenever you want to change this uh, the style of the button you select round it will be round you select square it will be square so this is the help of the uh, the theming uh, functionality i'll select this one to be transparent or something like this now this one has been selected all the buttons will be round now on so this is the functionality of the theming uh, function so this is how you can use the theming function uh, also if you are working on a particular templates or if you have added certain templates you can also add and you can also change the whole templates to a particular font or button sizes and all that you can do that so this is all about the theming functionality we'll continue the sessions with the other functionality which will be coming so thanks for joining everyone thank you